Hi, greetings ladies and gentlemen. My name is Winsome Duncan and I am your book confidence coach and today I'm going to come on and just do a quick video about book royalties. So traditional publishing royalties, fees, uh, independent self-publishing royalties and what's the difference and why should you care. So here's the thing, um, the benefit of a traditional publisher is that potentially they will get your book out to a wider market should they market it properly but i have heard of authors actually going on and having their books with big you know organizations and they're just not pushing it in the right way or they don't understand how to push authors in the right way especially authors of color let's just get it out there so anyway um, I think as an author, whether you're with someone big or yourself published, you have to have the mindset of, I am going to do what I need to do to get my book published. And not only get my book published, but to get it out to the masses, to the market. Okay. So here's the thing. Um, it varies. It can be anywhere from 5% to 10% of the whole book royalty. So let's say your book is £10. That's quite an expensive book. But let's say your book is £10 and you're going to get, if it's 10%, you're going to get £1 of every sale. If it's 5%, you're going to get 50p of every sale. If I've done my maths right, and I think I have. And you need to send thousands in order to earn thousands back, maybe hundreds of thousands. Obviously, millions would be best. But it's very seldom that um, corporates will take on unknown authors and give them a fact check. It's very rare. In the case of J.K. Rowling, she had to go to many authors' houses and she finally did get, you know, a payment in advance, which was a nice hefty sum. Now, traditional publishing and hybrid publishing is different, really. Uh, with the traditional publishing, depending on who you go, uh, sorry, with the, getting mixed up now, <laughs> with the independent publishing, so self-publishing, Kindle, KDP, that kind of thing, um, depending on who you publish through or if you do it independently would impact on the cost of your book. So say, for example, you use a company like my company, Peaches Publications, and you published with us, we don't take any royalties from your book. Once it's yours, it's yours, and we send you on your merry way. You do what you gotta do. Now, there are other tradition. There are other hybrid publishing companies that will take some money and will split the royalties because they're going to help market it, and that can also be beneficial to you as well on the journey for when you are starting out. However, you've got to make sure that they're reputable and they're going to keep their word. So let's just say your publishing company that you self-published with doesn't take any royalties or that you are an indie author and you just done a thing and your book is up there. So you're going to get the full royalties. Do not price yourself out of the market. Make sure that you stay within a healthy price. Watch what your competitors are doing. But more so than that, once Amazon takes their cut, so let's say go back to that £10. So your book is £10. Amazon takes £3 to produce it, 200 page book, let's say. And then they take one fifty to um, send it out. So, no, let's say two fifty to send it out. So that's in total three foot. So three i can add up and 250 550 so you will get a royalty of four pounds fifty on your book that's probably a black and white book and say 250 to 300 pages that's a pretty decent size or depending on the margin of what you put on the price and the only difference is that is that you've got to work to make sure that you are getting sales coming in because you're cutting out the traditional publishers that would take their fees for advertising and placement and editors and so on and so forth. So you've really just got to weigh up the cost and see what's right for you. Me, myself and I, once I'd started getting rejected from, from these publishing houses, I just thought, oh, nah, I'll just do it myself some way, somehow. So I, done, I started when, you know, there wasn't even any Kindle. What was Kindle? 
and I wish I jumped on Kindle soon. But this is a really good tool to help you in your strategies, the Just Market It workbook. It really will help you in strategizing your book campaigns and understanding how you can, if you are a self-published author, uh, leverage. This is for established authors as well, how you can leverage your income to low, medium and high price points. Now, you've just got to really sit down and do your due diligence and do research and, and just really think about what is best for you that's it i'm done i thought i'd come online because i'm feeling myself today i'm feeling a bit nice I've had a really lovely day very packed and um yeah i just thought i'd come on and just tell you about the the costings and just to give you an idea of of what it is that you need to do so there'll be a link below if you want to get a copy of the just market right workbook it's down there below and you can follow me on my social media you can check me out at www.botconfidencecoach.com and if you do want to write a book and you're not yet started come on our online course we'd be happy to help i'll see you later now, I think I was trying to dab and then I stopped. So let's try that again. See you later. Did I get it right? <laughs> yes.